So as continue our previous discussion, we stop at the question of 1.2. Hold on. So we we stop at the question of 1. Point, session 1.2, and the first question are the milking counts. So basically, this question is talking about a farmer that want to. Uh, yeah, for three cows. So they're actually what is this question is asking about is actually to get the longest time interval for at least one cow is was milk, and the longest time interval during no cows will be milk. So the starting time, as the question stated, is start from five. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it start from after five a.m. So the number that indicate in the inputs is actually the starting time, count in the second and the ending time. So what is our job doing was counting the longest continuous time between the input and the longest this uh, longest interval there is no count being milk. So actually so it's just that we just need to know the longest time interval for these two sessions only. So for my algorithm is quite simple. Yeah, so it's just that uh, oh. um, So let me draw in graphic form. So basically, I assume the time as starting from 5 a.m. I just make a timeline to the biggest biggest limit of the time limit that is stated in the question, which is around a million, something like that. So I'm creating a whole array from 0 to a million. So for every input of the time in the world, for every input, for example, like 100 to 500, I will be label, labeling whole this session by using 1. So other from not milking time, it will be set as 0. So only the interval that have been input, received by the input, it will all label to a 1. And while the interval that no without milk, the count that without milk, it will be shown as 0. So my algorithm is actually brute force the whole timeline to find the longest without milk, without count, the count without milk, and the longest time in the world that count being milk. Yeah. So basically, my algorithm just work like that. So let's show my code. How's my code about? So they actually have many approach, but I found this approach is for me is quite simple. So at first of the program I will receive the end input and then within the input I found I find the starting time and the ending time, the maximum ending time. So this will be the interval of my brute force the searching period. So after that I labeling for each input the timeline to be the one. Labeling the whole timeline to one. So after that I just brute force the whole timeline to find to, to count the longest continuous milking time and the longest interval without milk. So yeah, so this is whole question about. So just to demo whether this code working or not, I will try to submit here. Session quite fast. Yeah, so. Yeah, so this is it. So basically, the section of 1.2 is all about the complete search, which is what we call about the brute force. Yeah, the whole. So the list of the session in this section, what we learn about is just about the brute force, the whole, the and searching for the whole answer set to find whether the answer is in there or not. 
we don't need to consider any algorithm or faster way to do it. We just need to have an idea how to search all the possible outcome. So that's it. So these are the text, the idea that explained in the UNESCO. code. So you can you guys can have a read up from here. And then yeah, the mapping cow problem as we showed just now. Yeah. So that's the one of the simple solutions that I've implemented. Yeah, so that's it. So any Q and A session for asking any question? Uh, you just unmute them. Yeah. Hi everyone. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's yeah. Just stop. Stop the broadcast.